walkthrough. Because as I was saying before, you know, 90s Nintendo hard games, um, there's a lot of stuff that's just not very obvious. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. I think I can get a remote if I smash all those blood cannons, so we'll at least do that. So this may or may not be a game that I actually end up sticking with and playing all the way through. Um, just because, uh, I don't know, it doesn't, doesn't quite seem like my standard style. I like a lot more open world, uh, you know, exploring games and... And it would suck if I had to alt-tab over to game facts every 20 seconds and interrupt you guys so but we'll see where it goes let's be uh rex the main villain that we're talking about here i think i remember seeing a blood container up here It does so look this an awful is Never lot Never Land. You'd never guess it from the outside. Mm, that's like a legitimately satanic painting. That's cool. Alright, what's my objective here? I remember reading in the uh, FAQ that apparently in order to access that elevator at the end of the level, you have to hit a bookcase that'll slide or a real seeing switch. Just one of those things you never actually think to, to come across if you're actually playing the game. Nope. But this is back when strategy guides were a legitimate business, so they had to give you some reason to buy... I do like being able to scrape the walls as a little lizard. Just get my tongue. Doing my lizard kind of things. There's just not enough games that let you play as lizards. There's uh, pretty much this and the uh, scaler. That's about it. Yeah, this room, this room. Oh, 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 see? There you go. There's that secret bookcase I was talking about. Like. Who would think to? Are you serious? Can I get that next there? To run up against that one random wall and hit it, you know? There's no way you would know that unless you were following a strategy. So let's go ahead and get our tushies back over to the elevator. And we'll go ahead and collect that. So yeah, this is not actually the remote that we came in here for. This is uh, the remote for, as I said, right in the elevator. Apparently, uh, that little select menu at the front where you choose what remote you're going for doesn't actually inhibit your ability to collect other to collect other remotes. It just uh, changes what it shows a uh, hint video for at the start. Oh, that's a little fire. Really oh no, that's the thing that's trying to hit me. Oh, there's that terrifying child thing. Alright. Red light, green light. Make it. Yep. Bam. Good Mona Lisa. Alright. That's on. What, what are we doing? Oh. Oh, oh. Wow. That's a little legitimately kind of creepy. 
I'm actually uh, riding an elevator down and seeing the rest of these uh What's that renaissance painting with a uh, man? Creepy in here. Not as creepy as I'm going sleep, of course. Okay, that, that, uh, that actually got pretty real for me there for a little while. So, I will return to it eventually, but... Uh, it's tail that. time! Yep, it's tail time, buddy. That's right, you got it. Okay, so apparently they just keep on adding more and more collectibles the more you collect, so... Once again, those aren't a super big uh, priority for me. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and update and save. Bam! And we now have enough folks to access Gilligex Isle because we kind of cheated there. Um, I loaded a save where I previously had a remote, but uh, it's okay. Our main goal is just to kind of survey what the game is like in PCS XR. Previously, I had used EPS XE as my preferred. Oh, oh, is this a boss level? Oh, okay. So I got to hit blue fire of the balls to beat the Tiki Bros. All right. Okay, so they're gonna throw out three fireballs. I'm gonna run back and forth. Do that right there. Bam! Oh no no no! Oh no! Okay, so. Oh man. Okay, one more. One to go. Hope that I can't actually fall into the lava! What you got? What you got? Oh, you're actually gonna dance around, I see. Ah, oh, you got me. Come on, come on, what you got? Come on. Oh, yeah, that's it. Nope, that's not it. Let's get moving in. I should move. Oh, no! Sprightly for a little tiki guy. There we go. 